In FL, we are allowed to have four motors. We normally use two to drive the robot around, but we can use the other two to power our attachments. And in this video, I'm going to talk about how to use one motor to power many mechanisms on an attachment. This allows us to stack many mechanisms into a run to score a lot of points each run. I'm going to talk about making multiple mechanisms move at the same time. To do this, we need to make sure that the mechanisms have similar ranges of motion and will not get in the way of each other at the time they need to operate. Here are two short range mechanisms working at the same time. The arm that lifts a craft crater also powers a mechanism that dumps Noah the sound engineer and the audience member. Here are two mechanisms that have a long but not unlimited range of motion. My mechanism that spins the top of the light show also powers the mechanism that lifts the frame to do the sound mixer. Here are two unlimited range mechanisms working at the same time. My mechanism that spins a chicken on the virtual reality artist also spins the mechanism to do the music concert, light, and sounds. Both of these can just spin infinitely. Finally, let's talk about some other methods that teams can use to power multiple different things at the same time. Pneumatics is also a great way to do this. The motor can flip a switch that directs air pressure to any number of mechanisms to operate them. This is limited use though, as air pressure will eventually run out, losing power to the mechanisms. Clutch gears allow mechanisms of different ranges of motion to move together, but they do require a significant amount of force in order for the clutch gear to allow the axle in its center to continue spinning. So these do not work for fragile mechanisms. Conveyor belt mechanisms can be used to deliver multiple things at different times by just rotating it a little bit each delivery. However, there is only so much space and so much functionality you can use on a mechanism like this. There are many other ways that you can power multiple mechanisms at the same time. I've only scratched the surface, but I hope this gives your team some ideas on how they can save some motors. If you did enjoy this video, please do leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, comment down below, or even suggest any other methods that your team uses to save motors. Share this with your friends, and check me out on Fiverr if you want to hire me to help your FLL team succeed at the competition. I was able to work with one team for only an hour and get them significantly more points than they were able to do before. This is actually the first part of a series of videos I'm going to release about how to save motors. Feel free to let me know if you have any other methods you want me to cover down below.